This episode is part two of my video series, Scenery Experiments. In this video series, I'm going to attempt to weather my structures, add grass, foliage, and trees, and include figures and other small details. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. In the last episode, we finished up with laying the gravel footpaths on the module. Starting off today's experiments, we are going to start out working on the sidewalk. Instead of using buff paint, I am now using a mix of white with a drop of silver. I have figured out that instead of brushing on the paint, I am dabbing it with a brush. It is still not my desired look, but it is a lot closer than I got in the last video. And then the light bulb went off in my head. Why don't I use a makeup sponge? I had recently purchased some when I saw them being used in other videos. And lo and behold, I now have something that looks a little bit more like a concrete sidewalk. It's not perfect, but there are now a lot of nice details in the surface. I have used a static applicator once before, and it went okay. But during today's experiment, I'm going to learn a lot more lessons. I have some Pico static grass in autumn colors. I have both 2mm and 6mm grass in this color. Unfortunately, I did not remember this. So when I thought I was putting the 2mm grass into the applicator, I was actually putting in the 6mm grass. Due to my lack of experience, I thought that I was just applying the grass incorrectly and did not realize until this video was over that I was using the wrong length grass. The Pico grass also has some weird colors in its autumn mix. I have a sample static grass kit from Knock, and next time I'm going to start with that. The reason that I marked out where I wanted the trees is so that I could leave the area under the tree canopy free of grass. As I am applying the Mod Podge, I am leaving a small circle around each tree location. I also added some grass between the rocks where I thought it would naturally grow. I clipped a T-pin into the ground wire clip because I could not find a piece of suitable wire to use. I found the provided foot to be too big to use with end scale. I also wanted to add some grass between the ties on my siding track. Since the siding is not used as much, I wanted there to be remnants of growth. This turned out to not be as effective as I had hoped, and I might go back and look at this again in the future. But one thing that I realized really quickly as I started to try to apply the grass is that the scenery made it impossible to get the applicator within one inch of the surface, which is the recommended distance. Because of this, my 6mm grass was not standing up. I tried using the vacuum to help stand up the grass, but it ended up removing a lot more than I had hoped. At this point, I was collecting the static grass using a stocking and putting it back in the applicator. This project used up very little ground cover. A big advantage of using T-Track modules is that I can just turn them over and shake off the excess grass. I moved on to the next section, putting glue on the layout behind the station platform in the depot. And just when I finished putting down glue in front of the shops is when I realized that I did not leave out the space under the trees. In hindsight, I could have just put a penny in place of each tree and then remove it before the glue dried but I just went ahead and applied grass to the entire area. I had also switched vacuums at this point because I wanted something with more suction to help stand up the grass. This vacuum worked much better. I continued on using the same method to apply grass behind the merchant row shops. I was getting into a bit of rhythm at this point, but unfortunately I still did not realize I was using the six millimeter grass. Adding back in the trees is where the module started coming to life. I started in the area behind the shop since I figured it was better to experiment in a place that would be more hidden. I filled in the circle of grass under the trees with glue and added in some flock and turf brown ground foam that looks a bit like dirt. For my next experiment, I lined the walkways with glue so that I could add some woodland scenics fine turf green grass. I was trying to simulate a pathway lined with shrubbery. I did this with all three of the gravel pathways. After vacuuming up, I went back to adding some trees.
There was a gap along the side of the building, so I figured that this would be another good place to put some green shrubbery. Another large gap on the layout was the space between the long station platform and the front of the module. I used the brown foam to fill this in. This is another area that needs more detail added. I originally planned to paint some glue in the gap, but eventually decided to just drop the foam in the gap and then, using a mixture of matte Mod Podge and water, I soaked the foam to keep it in place. I also used the Mod Podge mixture on some green foam grass that I put in between the tracks. This is a drainage area, so I figured this would be a good place for grass to grow. Before I added the trees in front of the shop, I wanted to add some lines between the concrete sidewalk sections. I did this using a mechanical pencil. I definitely do not have the steadiest hands, especially trying to get into such a small space. There were existing lines in the original plastic sidewalk, so I did the best that I could to follow them. The added lines really helped give some perspective to the scale of the sidewalk. I tried a slightly different approach on these trees, adding the brown ground foam first and then installing the trees. I had a really difficult time keeping these trees where I wanted them, so I had to use some items on hand to keep them in place. I had similar issues keeping the trees in front of the shop in place, but I'm really liking all the colors that they add to the module. Here are some photos that show off the current state of the module. This is where I'm going to end this episode. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what it looks like for a beginner to experiment in adding scenery details. I learned a lot and I hope you did too. Coming up in episode 3, I'm going to continue adding some ground cover details and move on to adding people to the layout. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks again and have a great day. And then the light bulb went off in my head. Why don't I use a makeup sponge? I had reached And then the light bulb went off in my head. Why don't I use a makeup sponge? I'd reach <sighs> But one thing that I realized really quickly as I started to apply the grass is that the scenery made it impossible to get the applicator with it one. Before I added the trees in front of the shop, I wanted to add some lines between the concrete section. Before I added the trees in front of the shop,